Good morning. Once again, we're at the Okefenokee Heritage Center, and we have with us Miss Carl, Carla Cornett. There's too many C's in there. My tongue gets tied up, but she is with us again. And as a couple of weeks ago, we mentioned to you the Ben Smith Art Competition, and since then, this competition has been judged. And we thought today, with her help, that we would go through and take a look at the winners and see how they did and what they did. That's right. We'd like to announce our winners of the Judge Ben Smith Jury Dart Competition, the 2022 winners. So first of all, let's go ahead and start with our painting category. We have four categories, and painting was our first one. And our first place winner is Jordan Mitchell with Peaceful Morning. It's beautiful, beautiful painting. And then our second place winner is Miss Linda Freeman with Evening Surf. We did a videotape on her just recently. We did, and it was well received. A lot of people have looked at it. Linda yeah. does a good job. She Linda does. has done well in her advancement of the work that she's doing as well. Absolutely. And then our honorable mention is by Michael Todd called In the Shadow. And uh, Michael actually has a show he's going to be doing in Jekyll Island at the Shrimp and Grits Festival. So I hope everybody can go out to see him with that. All right, we had a photography category as well. Our first place winner is Standing Ovation by Connie Davis. Really neat shot she got there. That, yeah, that is an excellent shot. And then our second place winner is Alan Alnock with Lonesome Pine. That's a good name for that too. Yep, it was. He did good. And then one of our longtime photographers here in this area, Debbie Dean, she got honorable mention with Butterfly Kisses. In our 3D category this year, our first place winner is Stephen Sykes with a purple heartwood carving called Lotus. And it's just gorgeous. It's a lot of work there. He also did this as well. And then our second place is our Chev it's called Chevron Cross by John Behan. He's also one of our local photographers. He's a great photographer in this area. And our honorable mention is our multi-box pottery by Karen Fleming. Now, as we go down, we'll kind of pan some of the art. Excuse me. <laughs> We're going to do our drawing category in a minute. But as we do that, we'll look at some of the art. But also, you'll notice as we go through, you'll see some of our veterans' flags. We're in transition right now, and we're going to be having our Veterans Day program on November the 11th. We hope everyone can come out for that. It's a wonderful event. We're going to be doing having some exhibits out here as well. In our drawing category, Miss Laura Shedd won first place with Then and Now. And of course, this is quite fitting for the Heritage Center because it's a train, <laughs> Then and Now. The second place in the drawing category is Jora Mitchell with Sage Gray Mayor. That looks so good. And then our honorable mention is called Under the Fence. That is so cute. By it Samantha is. Ulmer. In the past, when the Okefenokee Heritage Center came into being, the Waycross Bar Association was a major factor in its growth and success. When the Okefenokee Invitational Juried Art Show was held each year, the attorneys of the Waycross Bar Association stepped up and subscribed to providing the prize money for the awards, which went to the winning local artists. Several years ago, the competition was renamed the Okefenokee Heritage Center Judge Ben Smith Juried Art Show. The name change was to honor the man who was gifted, a gifted artist and an unwavering supporter of the annual event. 
He was instrumental in making sure that the competition could continue to recognize the, and award the talented artists in our community. We would like to thank our Ben Smith Juried Art Show sponsors, Mr. Terry A. Dillard, Attorney at Law, Ms. Adrian Jewell Gibson, Gibson and Associates, Stephanie Kemp, Kemp Law, LLC, James Baker, McGee, McGee and Craft PC, and W. Vincent Settle with Thomas and Settle. And now, our overall winner of the Judge Ben Smith Juried Art Competition goes to Standing Ovation with Connie Davis. So this was what the, the judges picked as the overall winner. Well, it's a great pick. It I really have, is. I would have had a great deal of trouble deciding who won. <laughs> They're all really, really good. And I think this year we had a good turnout. We had a lot of interest. And I think it's encouraging that we did that. And people don't understand. We have a lot of very talented people within our area. And I don't know of another jury show that's very close. Uh, I don't think uh, Eagle Station is having one. I know they have some art stuff, but I don't they think do. they have they have a jury show. I, I think they have a jury show. I okay. think they have been. Okay. If they haven't, they, they probably should. But it's nice that we, we have the interest in this area, and it's nice that it honors uh, Judge Ben Smith, continues his memory and legacy, and we're just delighted that the Okefenokee Heritage Center does that, and we are delighted that Miss Cornette was with us this morning to help us through it all. So, we hope you like it. Let us know. Also, I'd like to announce that um, for our next art show, um, actually next, this, this month in November, we're going to be highlighting our veterans. But in December, we're going to have our up and coming, our Nancy King up and coming art show for our youth um, youth That's artists. That's excellent. Uh -huh. It'll be the middle, if you know anybody who's a middle school or senior, um, age, they can bring their art here to the Heritage Center the last week of November and we'll put their artwork up in, to display it. And that's a good name because Nancy has been an artist for some time and she has been a tremendous supporter of the Heritage Center. So it's good to honor her with that and I think that, that's very, very great. Well, thank you all for joining us today and the Okefenokee Heritage Center. We're on the right track. Thank you.